Well, we hear the term hormones all the time. They're just throwing it out there. What is that anyway? Joining us today, Donna Critch with Motivational Monday to tell us more. And what are hormones? I just had a hard time I, saying no, but, them, you know? But that's how it works, Holly. We don't even know how to say the word. And if we're all honest, we don't even really know what they mean. Mm -hmm. What do they do? What are they for? Because really, when we think of hormones, come on, we think of estrogen. Right. right. Oh, she's going crazy. She's hormonal, <laughs> yeah. right? And we think of testosterone because that represents a male, but mm -hmm. that's really it. And those are the sex hormones. Well, here's the thing. There are seven main hormones that affect virtually everything. Now, I'm not just talking easy weight loss because they bring about easy weight loss when you balance them out, but I'm talking about sleeping great. If the hormones are messed up, you can't sleep, you can't fall asleep, can't stay asleep. You wake up and you're awake for three hours. If hormones are out of balance, uh, you're hungry when you're not even really hungry. If hormones are out of balance, you have cravings that really are kind of unexplainable. But here's the thing, when hormones are in balance, you don't have those cravings. So if hormones are out of balance, you can have blood sugar issues, oh. pre-diabetic, uh, diabetes type two, um, if hormones are out of balance, it can even affect your blood pressure. And of course, thyroid, because thyroid is one of the key factors. So there are seven, okay? There's insulin. So if we take in a bunch of simple carbs, our blood sugar goes up, insulin goes up. But the thing is that will cr create a false sense of hunger if we spike insulin. And that's not just for diabetics. Okay, that can be controlled easily. Uh, cortisol, if we get stressed, cortisol goes up. Adrenaline, adrenals are affected. And if there's too much cortisol, we can begin to fry our adrenals. Okay, now you're stressed easily, you feel anxious, depressed. Hormones affect all of this. If cortisol is too high, it will begin to steal from progesterone, which in ladies takes estrogen up because progesterone's going down. In guys who also have estrogen, their testosterone goes down and estrogen goes up. It affects everything. So now it affects libido. It affects sexual performance. I mean, it, it affects everything. So when you put the hormones into balance, it affects everything positively. And the weight really just falls off kind of effortlessly if you're focused on putting those seven hormones into balance. Now, people don't know they're out of balance. Right, and say, and how would you even work on getting them balanced anyway? I mean, first you've got to look at where you're at with your hormones. Knowing these seven and the other DHEA, and we spoke about thyroid, knowing what the seven are, that's important. But knowing if you have an issue with them is more important. So we've talked before about the free hormone assessment, mm -hmm. and that can be found at 2030fasttrack.org, right? Mm -hmm. no, dot org, not dot com, dot org, 2030fasttrack.org. Uh, we're still beta testing that with, with our corporate site and the results are coming back amazing. Not only are people learning what hormones are messing with their body, but as they're putting them into balance, their body's going to a place of homeostasis. And what that means is you're sleeping like a baby. You're getting off of prescription drugs. You're not irritable anymore. You're not sad for no reason. You're not anxious. It, I mean, this hormones matter. What are they anyway? Like they're everything. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like they're everything, but the cool thing is you can help out and balance it out and make us feel better. Thanks. All right, thanks, Donna, for coming. My pleasure. All right, don't go away. First edition continues in a moment.